Have you ever heard of a zombie star? No, this isn't science fiction. This is the story of IPTF 14 HLs, a celestial object that's baffling astronomers and completely rewriting the rules of how stars die. Our story begins back in September 2014. Astronomers at the Palomar Transient Factory spotted a supernova, the spectacular explosion that marks the end of a massive star's life. They cataloged it as IPTF 14 HLs and, like with any supernova, expected its light to fade away over the next hundred days or so. Instead of dimming, IPTF 14 HLS did something unheard of. It got brighter. Then it faded a little, then got bright again. This cosmic light show went on for over 600 days, fluctuating in brightness at least five times. It was as if the star was refusing to go quietly into the night. But the biggest shock was yet to come. While digging through archival data, astronomers made a jaw-dropping discovery. They found evidence of a massive explosion from the exact same location. Back in 1954, this meant the star had somehow survived its own death 50 years ago, only to explode again in 2014. It's like watching a firework go off then seeing it reassemble itself and explode all over again, decades later. So, what in the universe is going on? The leading theory is something called a pulsational parent stability supernova. In this scenario, it's a star that's incredibly massive, about 100 times the mass of our sun, gets so hot in its core that it starts creating matter and antimatter. This triggers powerful explosions that blow off its outer layers, but it leaves the core intact. The star can then repeat this process over and over, essentially dying multiple times over decades or even centuries before a final cataclysmic collapse into a black hole. But here's the problem. Even this exotic theory doesn't fully explain IPTF 14 HLs. The energy released by the 2014 explosion was far greater than the model predicts. The amount of hydrogen seen blasting away was also more than what a star like this should have left. Could it be something even more bizarre? Some scientists have proposed it might be an entirely new kind of stellar event we've never imagined. Others wonder if we're witnessing the birth of a magnetar, an incredibly dense and magnetic neutron star, under very unusual circumstances. It's a star that refuses to die a true cosmic zombie that forces us to question the very fundamentals of stellar evolution. What do you think is happening with this star? Let me know your theories in the comments below.